Hi everyone, this is Jamie Santayano. I am the owner and creator of JSWalletChains.com. Uh, it is a website and also uh, a brand of wallet chain that I am making. Um, all wallet chains are made by hand. And um, anyway, I wanted to go over some of the features that come standard on all wallet chains as well as some of the pricing. It is a little bit um, hard for me to explain completely because each wallet chain is so individual when it comes to something that's custom made. Um, when it's not custom made and it's something that is within a collection on the website, that I have some standard prices there. Um, so I just kind of wanted to clear up some of the mystery with that. Um, I know when I shop online for certain things, I want to know all the details. So I'll do my best to give you everything that I know as far as how, how I do my pricing as far as wallet chains. So anyway, um, what comes standard on every wallet chain is this industrial clasp. This attaches from your belt loop to the chain. This is standard on every single chain I make. Okay, the other thing that comes standard and is, is fairly new is the JS tag. It's hard to see, but basically it's, it's my logo on the website. It's now on a little tag and I'm tagging all the new wallet chains made with that. So um, that is standard. The other item that is standard, unless you specify otherwise, I use the key ring. I have since made some upgrades. Um, I've made it available for you to upgrade to either the swivel eye snap, it's just a much more sturdier type of attachment or the swivel spring hook. I've seen this on many other wallet chains before and I thought, well, you know, after doing a, a survey with some of my customers, they mentioned that the key ring wasn't always as favorable. So I wanted to give you some different choices to make. Um, they had mentioned as far as the key ring that when they get caught up on a chair or something like that, the, the chain gets caught and they pull, you know, because obviously they don't know they're getting caught up. Um, the key ring can kind of distort, so it does have its weakness. Um, I know that this seems like it's not a very good feature. I, I don't know how, how you would call that, but... Um, it's not that it's something that weakens the chain, but if you look at it from this perspective, it is a safety feature. If you do get caught up on something, uh, let's say you're, you're riding and somehow you get in an accident and your wallet gets tangled up in the wheel of the other vehicle, you want that to break away from you. So it is kind of a safety feature if you look at it from that perspective. On the other hand, I did find this uh, swivel snap. This one is great. This is a bit sturdier. It has a bit of a spring to it and the spring is fairly strong. So it's going to it's going to stay attached to your wallet and um, it will definitely have a harder time, you know, breaking away if you do get caught up on something. Again, you're, you're taking your chances on that. Um, but I also do believe that because these chains are made with anodized aluminum, they might just give right, at he right here at the um, attachment. So, you know, the chances of you uh, getting caught up, yeah, I guess, I guess it's always there with a wallet chain, just as wearing a bracelet. You know, there's always a chance of getting, you know, getting it snagged and then, you know, it, it definitely being a problem as far as, you know, scarring your, your arm or scratching your arm or whatever. But anyway, um, those are the basic features. Um, those upgrades are there if you like, but again, all wallet chains are made with the basic key ring um, as standard, the industrial clasp and the JS tag. So um, as far as pricing, I would say that most chains that are about 20 inches long come with the key ring and are 
something like the double spiral, um, maybe even the Persian four and one. Something like this at about 20 inches long can be priced at about 50. But again, if it's longer, it's, it's more time, it's more materials, so the price will go up. If you do the upgrade for the swivel spring hook, it's gonna be $5 more. And then from, from the original price, let's just use a base price of $50, from there, it's a $10 increase for this class. Um, again, a lot of it too will also depend on the length of the chain. Um, and it also could depend on the intricacy of the weave. This is the Byzantine chain. This one's a bit more intricate. It takes a bit longer for me to make. So with this one, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. Something like this at about 24 inch inches is about 60 65 it just depends on again you know what what attachment you use if you're going with the the spring hook or the swivel eye snap um, again or the key ring so that's that's going to vary the price um, another thing that could also vary in price is the size of the materials this is the Persian four and one. Now this one goes for 70, but it also has all the standard features. So there's no upgrades on this one. And it's not as long as the purple one that I have, but what's gonna drive the price up on this one is if you can see there's a difference in thickness and chain and also in the materials themselves. So this material here in the, in the bright colored one, this one, it's just much more chunkier. It's, it's just got that uh, a thicker look to it. And again, the, the materials are much thicker in any way. Um, so that's gonna drive the price up a bit. This one is definitely thinner. In, in the material and the gauge that I use, but, um, but it is longer. And so this one is 75, but it also has the upgrade of the swivel eye snap. So this one runs at 75. So it's not so much about the colors. The colors, it's like, that's just what you want and we can, we can work with that. But as far as the length, um, the upgrades on the attachments um, and also depending on the intricacy of the weave um, or the thickness of the chain like this one uh, that will determine your pricing so they're all individual and most of my customer base is you know they go for the custom piece they they like having that individual look which I am definitely all for and one of the reasons why I have been so excited about this whole line is, is I feel that you can express yourself in using the colors that you like and, you know, the different weaves and, and I just, I love that. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to quickly tell you about that. Also, I can't remember if I mentioned it, but there's also a difference too here in some of the wallets. This one has a, like a hole that's punched with a grommet. Um, and in that case, I have found personally, when I use the uh, key ring to attach to that particular type of, of wallet, um, it tends to weaken, weaken the, um, the key ring. It kind of stretches it out a bit. So um, if you have a wallet that has this type of, of attachment, I would go with something more like one of these, the, the swivel spring hook or the swivel, swivel eye snap. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's all I wanted to give for you today. Um, I definitely want to go into more details on other chains and, and weaves and, and just the different things that we can do. Um, talk about custom orders. Um, 
you know, if you have any other questions, let me know. I'm trying to address everything that I can, um, but I, I am also working on all the, the website, the, the photographs. I do everything myself. I make the chains myself. I take all the orders. So, you know, I, I basically wear a different hat for every job. So, um, and then there's also networking. So anyway, um, I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks again for all the love, um, sharing my posts on Facebook, uh, liking my page, liking my posts. It all matters. It, it's all definitely helpful in getting the word out, and um, I, I appreciate it. So many thanks to all of you, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Take care.